Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really do appreciate it. My name's Dee and I am an avid thrifter and reseller. On this channel, I do a little bit of everything. Um, thrift, uh, thrift hauls, shop alongs, uh, crafts, uh, thrift flips, occasional cooking, baking, just kind of a mod podge of uh, things. So if that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss anything. And welcome back to all of my current friends. Today's video is a small, small thrift haul from Salvation Army. Um, I got some really nice items and one in particular I'm very excited about. So let's get into it, everyone. I got a bunch of florals uh, for crafting. I got these two, I uh, believe they're cherry blossom garlands. And they were originally from Joanne Fabrics and they were $12.99. $12.99. I paid $1.99 each. Okay. So. That will be going into my stash, as well as all of these. So, I got eight little bunches of these, uh, I'm going to call them lilacs, in purple and white. I love me purple. Love purple. So, I got eight of these, and those were 99 cents a bunch. And then I got three bigger bunches. Oh, this is one of the small ones. That goes over there. Uh, yeah, I got three. Hold on. I got... What did I do? Yeah, I got three. <laughs> That's like the third time's a charm of these larger bunches. And these were $1.99 a piece. You can't go wrong. Okay, oops, I dropped, I dropped some flowers. I got to find where that goes. All right, then I found a beautiful set of towels. These are, in this set is a gorgeous hand, uh, bath towel, excuse me. Beautiful bath towel. And it is in excellent condition, like new. And it comes with two hand towels. Y'all, when I can find towels and stuff like this in this condition, you know I'm going to buy them. I mean, you, you know how expensive towels are? Oh my goodness. Heck yeah, I will buy them all day long. I found this awesome cross stitch. I remember Santa sledding and it's um, initialed MEP 93. Look how pretty this is. And she even added a little note on the back. And I just love it. Beautiful workmanship. Okay. Next I got, I figured these I could put together for like a patriotic lot. So I purchased, these are both from Avon. We have Betsy Ross and she is a perfume container. Um, no perfume left, but she at one time held Sonnet Cologne. And this is from July of 1976. Mm -hmm. Then I, I had her before because I used to collect Avon perfume decanters. And I also had this with the original box. Even the box is great for... Um, putting in, you know, little vignettes or whatever. And this one is the Uncle Sam pipe. So I thought that would be um, 
a great decor piece as well. And especially that it's, you know, in its original box. So that's fabulous. Okay, so now I can't get it back in the box. You know how that goes. There we go. Well, almost, but whatever. I'll fix it later. I know tomorrow is Easter, but look how cute. Look at this little bunny planter. Right? I couldn't resist. It's adorable. And I know someone will, will like it and use it for next year. It's a hobbyist piece. Um, New Holland Floral Incorporated, 1996. That's what it says. I know it's hard for you guys to see. I'm sitting here on my couch doing this haul because I'm set up for my live sale already. And I can't sit on the floor, guys, because my back. So... Here I am on a nice comfy couch. I kind of like it. <laughs> I also picked up this beautiful, this is a RS Germany creamer. Now, I'm thinking at one time it might have come with a lid because it does have a rim. But look at this beautiful creamer. Oh my goodness. There's your ba your bag stamp. RS Prussia. I'm sorry. RS Prussia. RS Prussia is older than RS Germany. Um, my friend Arlene uh, told me that. So this is stunning with or without the lid. I'm pretty sure it, it came with a lid, but oh, it's beautiful. I also got this piece of milk glass. It is a, I'm going to call it a lidded candy dish. Uh, it could have been used as a powder jar. Um, it isn't marked, so I don't know who makes it. Uh, it could be Westmoreland. It could be um, uh, Indiana Glass or Imperial Glass. Uh, you know, I don't know, but... It's got no cracks, chips, or flea bites, so that's a plus. So I picked up that. I found two, I find these quite often, two Fenton Hobnail Taper Candle Holders. They are in excellent condition, just need to be cleaned up a bit, and they will be good to go. Look how pretty. So I picked those up. I did pick this up to do um, a thrift flip on because it is damaged. Uh, it is this little um, angel planter. And at one point, the angel was playing a horn and it's busted off there. So I'm going to do something else with this and, you know, cover that fact up. So that's why I got that. And it did come with the cute little greenery in there. Um, I also got this. This is awesome. But I think I would like to paint it white. Okay, batteries. Oh, I took the batteries out. Why did I take the batteries out? I did. What a dummy. Um, but it does work. It's this beautiful snow globe with the house inside or a church, it's a church, and the trees, the evergreen trees, but I think, I, I kind of think it would look better either painted white or black, I'm not, I'm not loving this, whatever this is, black and gold, I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments, should I leave it alone, or should I fix it up just a little bit, let me know, Last week, I found one of these, and then I found the pair to it this week. And as I said, I'm pretty sure this is a Czechoslovakian piece. Beautiful ewer, and it's exactly the same as the one I found the week before. 
these are they're just gorgeous and i will sell them as a pair i do believe i don't know let me know what you guys think should i sell them as a pair or should i sell them separately you guys let me know but it's beautiful I only have two more pieces, guys. I'm going to save the best one for last. Um, I did pick this jewelry box up um, to do a thrift flip on. Now, for some reason, this magnet, it's not holding this shut. It just keeps, you know, flying open. So, I don't know what the deal is with that. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to do a thrift flip on this. And it may not still be a jewelry box when I'm done. Uh, I haven't quite decided yet. I may take it apart and, you know, revamp it. So, I got that. Hey, Fritzy. <laughs> All right. The last item I found, and it was on the very bottom shelf stuffed in the back, and I was like, no, it can't be. It can't be. I have only found one of these out in a thrift store one time before, and it had a little damage, and I did fix it, but look, you guys, I found a head vase. Look at this cute little baby with the kitty. Um, It's not marked. Have no idea who makes it. But I absolutely love it. And I'm trying to decide if I want to keep it for my collection or not. Because I've never seen one with the kitty. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep it. So. Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Y'all know I have a head vase collection. <laughs> so, yes. So, this was my favorite find on this trip. Yes. So, guys, that's it. Very small, very small thrift haul. Um, oh, let me tell you what I spent. That would help. Oh, yes. And so... Remember I told you that I didn't get any of my 50% um, off discount uh, with the last time I went and I couldn't understand why I spent so much money, $198. Well, that's because they owed me $36 in, um, in discounts. So I let the guy know and he, he took it off, you know, so I got, I got my discounts. Now, I did not get my money back for the cracked pink relish because there's a sign hanging right there that says um, sold as is, no refunds. So, shame on me for not taking it out and inspecting it. Anywho, I spent, um, with, with the money they owed me, I only spent $29.05 for everything. So, you know, it is what it is. At least I got my discount money back, you know? Can't complain. Can't complain at all. I didn't have to pull out my box cutter or anything. <laughs> if y'all are new here, the box cutter thing, there's a video somewhere in all of my videos that explains the box cutter. Non-payers. I think it's entitled. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. And don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.